Hello, this is Andrew from Simu Apps. Today we'll be looking at adding a shared ad banner in Swift using the app Delegate. First of all, I want to quickly explain why we want to use a shared banner and its advantages. Most tutorials, they only show you how to implement a non-shared banner on one view controller. And reusing this method over several view controls is not suitable as I'm going to explain. So basically, in our app, we're just going to have one view controller and it's going to say, what do you like, a dog or a cat? Then you select dog or cat, take it to another one with an image of the animal and a back button. A back button will go back to the main screen. So in this image here, we've basically got the steps a non-shared banner will take in loading the ad. So when the app first loads, it sends an ad request to the ad server to load the ad banner. Then when we select cat, we'll go to the cat view controller. And when that loads up, that's gonna send another ad request to the ad server. And then if we go back to the main screen, that's gonna send another request. So that's three ad requests in total. So this is not suitable because every time you go back and forth, an ad has to reload. So a user might not even get to see the ad if they're flicking through the app quite quickly. And also it uses three times the bandwidth versus using one at shared banner. So you don't want to have your app appearing with the eye with the ad banner for an internet connection. So in this example here, this is using a shared banner. So when the app is first loaded, it will send an ad request to the ad server to load the ad. Now when we select the cat view controller, it will go to the cat and the banner will not actually need to request again that will just carry over from the first one so it doesn't need to load again it will be there straight away on whatever ad it's loaded and then when we select back it will go back to the main view controller so this provides a much better user experience because it doesn't need to constantly reload the ad so your ads will get more exposure to them so it'll probably get a better tap through rate which means more money in your wallet at the end of the day. So if you want to read more on the Apple site regarding the shared iAd banner and why you should use it, I'll leave a link below to this site here. And it's just basically an article just about the shared iAd banner. So now I'll show you how to implement it. Okay, so we're just going to set up our project now. So create a new single view application. We're just going to name it iAd Shared. that and to start off with we've just got a picture of a cat and a dog from Google here we're going to add to our project we'll copy them in there now we need to create our view control for the cat and dog so go to file new file go to touch class and the first one cats make sure it's a subclass of UI view controller go next create and we'll do the same steps for dog. And create. Okay, so now we just need to set up in our storyboard. So drag some view controls onto our storyboard, like so. Now we're going to set the first one to be a class of cat, second one to be a class of dog. Make sure you've got the actual view control selected otherwise it won't show up. Okay, so for cats we're going to add the image of a cat here. make that scale with its size and we'll do the same for the dog view controller now we'll just set up 
the buttons. So open these up. So back in our main view control, the default one, add a label, go, what do you like? Add a button for a cat. A button for a dog. So we're going to just connect them up now. So to do that, just click on them, holding control and drag. And on the action sake, go show. Do the same for dog. Dragging it to the dog view controller. And now we're going to add our back buttons to go back from these view controls to our main one. To do that, just go control and drag it to the default one, go show, and do the same for the other one. Now that we've got this out, if we just run it, we should have our demo app going just with no ads in it at the moment. So, what do you like? Cat or dog? Go cat, shows a cat, go back, dog. Show the dog. Okay, so now that we've got that set up, what we need to do, we need to add in the frameworks to let the iAd work. So to do that, select the iAd shared up here, go to targets iAd shared, and under linked frameworks and libraries, click on the plus button, and we need to add in four frameworks. So first is iAd. Second is Core Graphics. Third is UI Kit. And fourth is Foundation. All right, so now that's set up, we'll add our I add to the app delegate and then we'll set up the default view control to display the ad. So in the app delegate, under import UI kit, we'll go import I add. And under the there window, we're going to create a new one for the actual ad, which will be there UI I add. On add banner view. Equals add banner view graphics. Okay, so I'll go to our view controller now and we'll also import I add in here. And for the class, what we want to do after UI view controller, do comma add banner view delegate. And now we need to add four methods for our ad to show up. So the first one we want to add is a function app delegate. We want that to return us the app delegate. So in there go return UI application dot shared application dot delegate as app delegate. And basically this allows us to access the UI app we created in an app delegate in the step before. The next function we'll need to do is do our view will appear. And in here we'll do UI I add. Sorry, I just forgot um, we've also got to create an I add variable in here up the top. So do there UI I add. Banner view, add banner view, equals add banner view. 
Now in here we'll do the UI I add dot delegate equals self. Do UI I add again equals self dot app delegate dot UI I add. It's not showing up, so I'll just go back there and check it. So we've got our UI. I add in that app delegate. So that should be showing up. Let's check that again. There we go. Now it's showing up. So we've got our UI I add from the app delegate. Go to UI I add dot frame. So this is going to be actually where we've got the ad displayed on the screen. So we're just going to set it up to can't display up the top at the moment. So we'll do CG rec make zero twenty one zero zero with the width and the height. It doesn't matter what you do in there. It's automatically going to fill the width of the screen and will be a height of fifty by default. So even if you set those to something else, it will change back to those defaults automatically. So the next step we need to do is view will disappear. So when we exit the view, we want to remove the ad since the user won't be viewing it anymore. So UI, I add again, delegate equals nil. The UI, I add, dot remove from super view. What we also need to add, and it is required by Apple, is that if there's no internet connection, the ad will automatically hide. But if there is an internet connection and an ad has loaded, then it will show the ad. So the first one we'll do is if the ad's been loaded, we'll show it to the user. So that one is banner view did load ad. So the UI view dot begin animations. Email. And nil in the context also. The UI view dot sets animation duration to one. And basically, um, this is just making it so the ad fades in and fades out nicely. So UI, I add dot alpha equals one. And UI view dot commit animations. Now the second one is when there is no internet connection or the ad hasn't been able to load for whatever reason, we want to hide the ad from the user. So that one is also banner view. And it is did fail to receive ad with error. So also do what we've done before, we can copy that code. Set will set the alpha to zero so the ad will hide. Okay, so if we run that now, we should see our ad display up the top if we get a connection. So sometimes in the simulator, it doesn't display straight away. So if that's all right, we'll just try it again. Okay, so the reason the ad wasn't showing up was I also forgot to add it to the view under view will appear. We also need to add one more line, which is self dot view dot add sub view UI I add. And now that we've got that in there, our ad should load up. All right, so we've got our ad showing up now. So all we need to do is for the cat and dog view controller. We will just put the same code in, and what that will do, we'll all be using the same 
add from the app delegate. So we can copy that code from here. Go to our cat view controller. Paste that in there, remembering to import our iAd. Also our dog view controller. Importing our iAd. So also just move these in with the view controller just to keep the project neat. And so if we run that now, got our ad showing up, go to cat, the ad's still up the top. Go back, see how it changes to red, go to dog, still red. So it's exactly the same ad being shared through those set three view controllers. So it will display test ads until your app's actually live on the app store. And I'll also show one more thing. If you want to add the ad down the bottom, all you need to do is for this frame, we'll get to the screen height. To do that, we'll do bear sh equals ui screen dot main screen dot bound dot height. So this gets the height of the phone. And over here, wherever this 21 is, we'll do that and do sh minus 50. So since the ad height is 50, we'll get the screen height, put it down the bottom and make sure that it's got enough room to display. So if we run that, this will show up at the bottom of the view controller now, right down there. So you can download the full source code to this project below. And remember to subscribe for more tutorials and leave any feedback below.